humans made the best ships business-wise. I say this not because they can build the cheapest ships, nor the fastest or the biggest. I say it because the one thing they seem to master is efficiency. When I was still the head of the Imperial-backed Aularaya Transport Company, the Imperial Court ordered me to have a joint venture in building one cargo and one passenger and mail ship for the Empire. And so I contacted one of the biggest shipbuilder on Earth, the Tokugawa Hojo Shipyard, to have them build the ship while my company supplied our best blueprints for both the orbital and FTL engines. The court wanted a cargo ship with the budget of 600 million Imperial talent and 900 million Imperial talent for the passenger ship. They want the cargo ship to have capacity minimum of 200,000 six meters equivalent units and can travel at least 1,000 light years in a single go. As for the passenger ship, they want it to have capacity of 12,000 passengers minimum and can travel the same 1,000 light years. After a full year of detailed planning and another four years of building, our ships were finally ready. Spirit of Trade, the cargo ship, and Spirit of Adventure, the passenger ship, are ready for their maiden voyage to Mirazi III, the Empire's largest port world and manufacturing world. The result was not exactly a work of art. Just like their style of waterfaring ships, the ships they made are blocky with many straight lines and some round parts here and there. But what interests me the most is their aforementioned efficiency. While the passenger ship takes in passengers and supplies for the, the journey, the cargo ship loads its cargo with the help of container drones that picks up cargo from the feeder ships to its container bay instead of using the fully booked orbital port. It took them a full day until the container bay is nearly full before the two sets out for their maiden voyage. It took us an entire two weeks to reach Mirazi III, and that entire time I contacted the captains and crew of both ships, I was amazed by what the humans managed to build in five years. The cargo ship have the total capacity of 234,012 SEU, six meter equivalent unit, and can travel 1,270 light years. On the other hand, the passenger ship can carry 15,000 passengers along with 10,000 crews with the range of 1,350 light years. The cargo ship costs us 569 million talents, while the passenger ship costs us 893 million talents. And the best part is, their fuel consumption is roughly the same as our ships with the same type of engine but with smaller capacity. The reptilian Varkin may have their Lord's Will cargo ship that can carry 450,000 SEU. The squid-like Zephylids may have the fastest ship, Queen Mako, capable of traversing 1,000 light-years in five days. And the Arden have the cheapest ship to build, Grand Carrier, costing only 390 million talents, with capacity of 200,000 SEU. But they all pale in comparison to the humans' ships for their fuel efficiency and their durability. For many years I have watched over our human-made ships, and I have noticed that when once they need maintenance and repair, our other ships already went through at least three maintenances and repairs— and our fuel consumption for our ships only went up by half of our expected expenditure after our purchase. When I finally retire from the company, two-thirds of the ships the company have were human-made, with the rest being locally built feeder ships and some tankers. I guess whatever the humans made with enough budget would end up like they are, tough, durable, and incredibly resilient. I have heard that the Empire ordered another two human-made ships with countermeasures to ward off the increasing piracy around the Arden Varken space. So I was told, the humans build the ships that costs one billion talents, can carry 300,000 SEU, and are armed with two debris and asteroid removal laser, which is just their way of saying they put naval laser cannons without saying they put naval laser cannons. I love and hate their way of saying things. After some time of that billion talent ship was delivered, it was hijacked by pirates. At least they tried to hijack it. The three pirate ships that tried to get close to the lone ships was warned by the captain, but they ignored it and kept coming near them and then launch hijacking pods onto the ship. Luckily, the ship guards managed to shot off the clinger pads of the pods before they can reach it. After that sorry attempt, the captain ordered the pirate ships to be shot by the laser cannons. Little did they know at the time the debris and asteroid removal laser, or Darlus, they got, have about the same power as the laser cannon on an Ardhan frigate. 
In short order, they turned those pirate ships into what the human called as Swiss cheese. Had I still been the head of the company, I'd replace all our ships with human ships.